what happened? Like, so you were at the same Roscoe's. I was at um I was at a Roscoe's in Inglewood. Okay. So that's a little bit, I think a little bit down from the one he was oh, at. Okay. You know okay. Saying? And then and what happened? Uh shit, really, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker in there eating, you know what I'm saying? We eating. Uh I feel like, you know what I'm saying, they got up on us, you know what I'm saying, at the Roscoe's while we was eating, because when we was going in, you know what I'm saying? It, I'm not from from the rack, so you know what I'm saying, Chicago. So I'm not knowing that's an area out there in LA, you know what I'm saying, where motherfucker don't go eat at. So you feel me? I just went, you know what I'm saying? Shit, sat down, ate, they got up on us up there. Then we ended up leaving, you know what I'm saying, the gas station. You know, I mean, leaving now, going to the gas station next door. It's a 76, you know what I'm saying, gas station next door to Roscoe. So I guess they was planning on following us wherever we was going, but we ended up stopping there. You feel me? So then when I stopped there or whatever, you feel me, shit, but coming out of there, they had pulled up in another car, you know what I'm saying, got out, tried to rob us, shit, but you know, we play good defense. So, you know what I'm saying? We got, we was able to make it out of there, you know what I'm saying, safely and, and no, nobody getting hurt or whatever. But you feel me? That's definitely, you know what I'm saying, what, what um, a lot of rappers got to look look out for out here, especially when you when you coming up and trying to, you know what I'm saying, wear jewelry and, you know what I'm saying, public places, stuff like that. If you ain't got security, bro, you know what I'm saying, or you ain't, you know what I'm saying, nowhere where you know comfortably you could be wearing that at, bro, you shouldn't wear that shit, bro, at all. You know what I'm saying? Like This week, uh, we had the tragic passing of a uh, rapper PNB Rock. Uh, he was killed while uh, basically eating with his girlfriend at a Roscoe's in, in Los Angeles. Um, a couple days before that, we had the tragic death of a fashion designer uh, in some crazy situation with the rapper Sauce Walker. I guess, you know, they was trying to rob Sauce Walker while he was shooting a video. They ended up also trying to rob this fashion designer and the fashion designer was killed. Um, you know, mm. the, the rapper Quando Rondo, um, his friend Lil Pad was just killed about a week ago in Los Angeles. What do you think these rappers is doing wrong? Um, you know what? I don't really think it's nothing that they're doing wrong. I think it's more of like a cultural thing. Like, I think it has been promoted so much to have all this and all that. I need the chain. I need this. So the ones that don't have feel they need to get it by any means necessary in order for their life to matter. Just recently, uh, news broke that Chicago rapper B. Bands, while at a Roscoe's in L.A., it was a different Roscoe's, but it was down the street. Mm -hmm. uh, while at a Roscoe's in L.A., he posted a picture of his food. Um, people not saying, I don't think it was the internet that, that sent nobody over there and nothing like that, but it was eerily similar. He had an eerily similar um, experience uh, at Roscoe's in LA. He said as he was leaving, some men approached him. He kind of brushed them off like, man, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? We ain't, I ain't even listening to that shit. Motherfuckers hopped in their car, drove to the gas station. When they got to the gas station, the men had followed him. A shootout happened. B bands was shot in the leg. He 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 is okay. You know, okay. saying everybody made it out with their life, but it just paints a picture of this isn't a one time thing. This isn't a one time occurrence. This isn't an oh let's be sad for PNB Rock. There's a situation going on where rappers from out of town are being robbed and shot and killed in Los Angeles. Uh, what do you think is going on with that, bro? Um, they hungry out there. It ain't just rappers when I, what I'm hearing too, bro. Like they hitting everybody. This is the, this is what they do. And like people gotta understand, LA ain't sweet. Like LA is not sweet. And then you got the surrounding areas. It ain't just LA. You know what I mean? Like you got Watts, you got Compton, you got Inglewood, you got all these little areas that make up that, that, that down there. And these people ain't getting got jobs. They hungry. Like bro, they, they marking they targets, and that's that's what happened when you out there. And again, you ain't, when I mean, we talked about this checking in stuff before, bro, it's like, especially if you're a part of these streets, bro, like, you got to know. That when you come to LA, you got to check in with motherfucker that runs certain sections, you know what I'm saying? Work, like, this a lot of street shit to go with this shit, you know what I'm saying? A lot right. of people not in the street, so they don't know that. So they looking at it, like you saying, tourist spots, oh, this is a nice gas station. Like, LA, the whole LA look good to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like to people from Chicago, they go out there, LA, they gonna think anywhere out there. You feel what I'm saying? It, it look nice. Area, you feel me? Because it's way different from Chicago. You gonna know the trenches in Chicago. You gonna know, okay, 
you know what I'm saying? We're not going that over there in that area for that's treacherous. Then we got a good area in Chicago. Okay, this is a suburb, this is a little more safer. Y'all go out to eat out there. Y'all go, you know what I'm saying? Do y'all right. shit out there in right. the city? We not going out there. Everybody know that. You feel me? And even if even if you're not from Chicago, you're gonna stay on the Gold Coast, you're gonna stay downtown, you're gonna, gonna stay, be far away from the hood. You you're going to be far away from the hood. So, like, L.A. is totally different. You're not even going to know what's the hood and what's not the hood out there because everything look good. So do you think that all rappers who have street elements in their music should be able to understand that that comes with having to check in certain cities? Do you believe that's true? I believe so, especially out there. I'm going to just especially out there and not laughing at the situation, bro. Them, they, they it's like they not nothing to be played with, and they showing they showing that like, and it's like I don't even think that you can go check like because it's like I say even with that checking in thing, I don't even think that could be safe because if they homie, they homie, and if they if they if if it ain't they homie that you directly with, bro, they might gonna get down on whoever out there. Like it's just like hey, you can be with the ops, so we don't rock with him either. Like you know what I mean? Or the people you go check in with could be on some. You know, oh yeah, we got you, bro. The oh, double hey, back, the back door. Oh, hey, oh, everything, bro. Cause that's not just happening here, that's happening everywhere. I think internet and technology itself has taken people away from the reality of what really happens. You know, and like the fact that when you get to a certain level, it's just certain things you can't do, and it's a certain way that you have to move, but then if you already have that mentality that, oh, I'm that guy and I'm untouchable, you move as if no, no nothing or no one can check you. Rap and hip hop, it's just always had a street um, undertone. So, and basically like you must know, you must be involved even though these kids ain't involved. Right. They just going off of the things they done heard in the songs they was listening to and decided to pick it up, but it ain't really their life. So they moving how they would normally move, not expecting to have to deal with what comes with the area that you in. So do you plan on the next time you go back to LA and do business, do you plan on um, maybe taking some different steps in terms of how you move or you know what I'm saying, who you link with or how you, you know, wear your jewelry and stuff like that. Do you plan on taking different steps next time you in L.A.? Yeah, hell yeah. I was just there yesterday. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, like I say, I was, I was, I was, I'm not going to put none on nobody else. You feel what I'm saying? But I wasn't thinking. Like, how I pose a thing. Like, you know what I'm saying? I You never pose to let nobody see you off, bro. Or, you know what I'm saying? You never pose to let nobody tell you what to do when you know what you're supposed to be doing. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. That's all it was, bro. It was on some, you know what I'm saying? I, I just slipped up one time, you feel me? On some, come on, let's just do it. When I know I don't do shit like that. I don't go, I don't sit down and go eat nowhere, bro. You feel me? Not even with my lady, bro. We ordering the chef to the crib, whatever. You know what I'm saying, bro? That's how I move. So it was like, like, you know what I'm saying? It was on some life lesson shit, bro. Like, you feel me? Stick to what I what I move, how I move, and stick to what I say, bro, all the time. Like, don't let nobody switch when I move. Well, you know what you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's all it was, bro. And I knew I'm not supposed to be going to sit down in no Roscoe's nowhere, period. You know what I'm saying? I got a face car. Anybody could see me. You know what I'm saying? It had, not that I'm in two of nobody or nothing. It's just we got haters, bro. You know what I'm saying? And when you artists, bro, it's, it, it's like motherfucker be having that. They just want to try you, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's to see what, if you about what you about or just to see if you going to, you know what I'm saying, really have right. that type of emotion. So by me being in L.A., it ain't nothing different, bro. It just, you know what I'm saying? I got to be moving right, bro. Like, I've been supposed to be moving right. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, period. Shit, I was moving wrong, bro. That's on me. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I can't, you can't control nobody but yourself. It's a big thing with that, right? That that disconnect happened. Because it's like, you still want to, like, you, you want to enjoy your fruits of your labor. So that's part of your fruits of your labor, Joe. Like, hey, I, I did this. I got this. But now it's like, and then you don't want to look like you know sucker. I'm gonna land with this, but then I'm going out. You know what I mean? It's a it's an ego thing that happens. Cause it's like, bro, I've been to LA. I ain't had no problem. But again, I wasn't moving like that neither, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I was in some of the roughest of the other stuff when I was out there, bro. Didn't know I was there. <laughs>
<laughs> in the roughest, you know what I mean? You feel what I'm saying? Like, so that's all, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I still got to get out here, move, work out there. Ain't shit stopping me. You feel me? I got motherfuckers in L.A. that I'm checked in with now. OGs that run L.A., you know what I'm saying? Shit, that, that disturbed them real bad when they heard that. You know what I'm saying? But now when I go back, you feel me? Shit like that, certain faces, you know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers see me with it, and they know already. You know what I'm saying? It's a type of respect factor, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, y'all can follow me on all social media. First and foremost, first and foremost, RP PNB Rock. You know what I'm saying? RP PNB you know Rock. Saying? That he wasn't able to make it out that situation, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm 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 overly blessed. You know what I'm saying? To be able to tell my story and just make it out that same type of situation. You know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna just get condolences to that man and his family, bro. You know what I'm saying? He was a great dude, bro. He was a great person, bro. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. By me being able to still be here and do that, bro, I take, you know what I'm saying? I take that shit to heart, bro. You know what I'm saying? But y'all can follow me on all social media at The Real B Bands. That's T H E R E A L B B A N D Z. Y'all know how we coming, man. The biggest shit talk for checking out. It should be more important that one, it shouldn't be happening. <laughs> they should not be getting shot at no Roscoe's and this, that, and the third. And then even if there's a checkpoint in your city, it should just be known. If if that's the case, right? Rappers should know it. It's a checkpoint when you come in here, find out who you need to pay to be where you at so you can be there safely. And if you ain't paid the toll, you you know, this is what, what could potentially happen. happen, right? Right, but I think logic got a way in the mind to some people that these are most internet sensations, no type of street cred, really. So, no, they not thinking in terms of street politics. You know what they thinking in terms of? I'm famous. <laughs> I'm in L.A. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm in L.A. I'm, I'm, I'm just like the actors and all the other people you see here. And they not getting shot and robbed. But they not understanding that what the field that they are in is tied to.